Welcome to your midday sports. We begin with football. Former champions Arnett Gardens will be looking to bounce back to winning ways today when they take on struggling newcomers Treasure Beach in the second match of a doubleheader at the Tony Spaulding Sports Complex in the Ray and Nevio Jamaica Premier League. The junglists were blanked 2 0 by Portmore United in the last round, but can move within four points of leaders Mount Pleasant should they end up being victorious. Head coach Xavier Gilbert is looking to correct the wrongs of Sunday's defeat. Um, a little bit more positive, a little bit more smarter, better decision making up top, um, and then we'll see where it takes us. Meanwhile, Treasure Beach have lost six on the bounce since their 2 1 win over Malines United on November 23. They are languishing 13th on the table with seven points. The match kicks off at 7 p.m. Meanwhile, former winners Cavalier will go in search of a third straight victory when they oppose 12th placed Malines United at 4.30. Malines have picked up six points in their last five matches with three drawn results and a victory. Jamaica's two-time 100-meter hurdles world champion Daniel Williams is set to face a strong field in the 60-meter hurdles at the Millrose Indoor Games in New York on February 11. Williams, who is the only Jamaican two-time sprint hurdles world champion, will line up against the compatriot Akira Nugent, as well as former 100-meter hurdles record holder American Kenny Harrison, former world champion Nia Ali and Bahamian champion Devine Charlton. The field is also including American trio of Alicia Johnson, Tia Jones and Masai Russell. The 2027 Pan American Games are without a host country after Colombia failed to meet financial deadlines for the event. The Pan American Sports Organization, PASO, announced on Wednesday in a statement that the committee had decided to withdraw the host city status from Barranquilla in Colombia for the 2027 Pan American Games due to a breach of contract. According to PASO, a meeting took place at the 2023 Pan American Games in Santiago, Chile, between the committee and the Colombian authorities regarding Barranquilla 2027. The host city requested an extension of the financial deadlines set by PASO to fulfill contract expectations. PASO granted the host country an extension with the new deadline set for December 30. Large multi-sporting events outside of the Olympics have recently grappled with the cost of staging an event of this magnitude. Recently, the state of Victoria in Australia pulled out of the 2026 Commonwealth Games due to the exponential cost associated with the Games. In what is the shortest test match in terms of overs bowled to determine a winner, India registered a seven-wicket win over South Africa inside two days in Cape Town today to level their two-match series at one apiece. The match advanced quickly with 23 wickets falling on the opening day as South Africa began day two at 62 for three in their second innings. It was more of the same at the start of day two as South Africa lost their last seven wickets for 114 runs to be bowled out for 176 just before lunch. Aidan Markram, who was 36 overnight, carried his score to 106, but the next best score in the South African innings was 12, as only three other batters got to double figures. Jasper Bumrah bagged a 6 for 61, while Mukesh Kumar had a 2 for 56. Set 79 runs for victory, India got to their target at 80 for 3. Yashvai Jaiswal, 28, Virat Kohli, 12, and Shubman Gill, 10 were the wicket takers, uh, wickets to fall. Captain Roy Sharma, 16, and Shreyas Aya, 4, were left unbeaten. Only 107 overs were bowled in the encounter. Reinforced an early end to proceedings on day two of the third test between Australia and visitors Pakistan at the Sydney Cricket Ground with the home team on 116 for two. Australia still trailed by 197 runs after the players were forced from the field midway through the second session. Manus Labashain, 23, and Steve Smith, 6, will look to resume for Australia on day three. Earlier, resuming the day at six without loss, the Australian openers added another 64 runs before David Warner, who is playing his final test at the SCG, was dismissed for 34. Usman Kawaja was the next to go for 47. Amir Jamal and Aga Salman are the wicket takers so far for Pakistan. Pakistan were bowled out for 313 on the opening day. The Aussies hold an unbeatable 2 0 lead in the series. And uh, that's it for your midday sports report. Kalisha, it's back to you. Thanks, Spencer. And that's the midday news. I'm Kalisha Williams. Join us at 7 for primetime news. On behalf of the news, sports, and production teams, have a good afternoon.